In the video where we saw how to detect clicks on game objects, I showed this little video in which I draw a ray to explain the concept of ray casting, but I didn't include the code to do it. So in this video, we will see different methods to visualize the ray cast in the Unity editor. This has the purpose of testing. The final user won't see these drawings. If you want the user to visualize the ray cast, I suggest you watch this video till the end understand it and then watch the video I leave you here in the corner where I show how to draw a line between two points in Unity. Please subscribe to the channel and let's start solving this problem. There are basically two ways to perform a raycast in Unity. Either you use a ray, for example in this case we use the camera to obtain a ray projected to the world. The other way to make a raycast is using two vectors, one vector for the origin and the other for the direction. In addition, a ray is created using an origin and a direction, so you could easily go from one method to the other. Now, I know two functions to draw a raycast in Unity, debug.drawRay and debug.drawLine. For the first function, you can use the ray origin and the ray direction vectors as parameters, you could also add a color for the ray. And this will draw a line that starts in the origin and goes one unit in the direction you indicate. Multiply the direction by a number to make the line larger or shorter. With this button you can enable gizmos in the game window, but still the final user won't see these lines. And that was the basics of the draw ray function. Now the draw line function is useful to draw a line between two points in space, for example the origin of the raycast and the hit point of the raycast, if there is one. To use the function you write debug.drawLine and pass the two positions to draw the line. In the same way as before you could also add a color. Subscribe to this channel so we can see each other again in the next video.